today's family webinar. A big thank you to the team for joining us today. Um, you're going to be learning now about, all about the family aspects of the hotels and destinations. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce yourself. So in the team at the moment, we have got Jade. Jade, tell us who you are and where you're from. Thanks, Sarah. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Jade and I represent the beautiful True Blue Bay Boutique Resort in the lovely island of Grenada. So looking forward to talking about that with you today. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so I'm sorry, my internet cut out. Oh, my mic is out. Hi, everyone. I'm Shanika Ramsey from Jamaica Tourist Board, and I'll be telling you all about the beautiful Jamaica that's just buzzing for family activities. So stay tuned to listen for more. Super. Thank you very much. And we've got Graham. Hi, everybody. I'm Graham, Graham Hawkins, uh, part of the impressive sales team here in the UK. And we're going to tell you all about the beautiful, impressive results down in uh, Don Rep in Punta Cana. Looking forward to it. Super, thank you very much, Graham. So we're going to um, Jamaica first. Shanika, over to you. Thank you. So we're just going to touch on Jamaica, which we are the top Caribbean destination in the UK currently would be for Jamaica. So as I mentioned, I'm Shanika Ramsey and I cover the North and the Midlands of the UK, Wales, Scotland, and Isle of Man. My colleague Donovan, who is on the call as well, he's joining us. Please, if you have any questions, leave them in the chat. Donovan will be active in the chat, answering all your questions. And our district sales manager, who some of you may be familiar with, is Torrance Lewis. So yes, I am a new I am a new mother and a new journey. This is my little Suzanne. So meet Suzanne everyone. And we are talking all about family. So I decided, you know, let's go my little three month old buzzing going on four months soon. So quick facts on Jamaica. That Jamaica is the top Caribbean destination, as I mentioned, and we are smack in the Caribbean Sea. So we're located in the Caribbean Sea. It's warm all year round, and it's not too far in terms of activities. If you're looking for active water-based activities, Jamaica is perfect because the waters around Jamaica is so calm. So bring your little ones to Jamaica, bring the family, bring the teens and tweens, and they'll have fun enjoying the destination, both online activities and water-based activities. So just some quick facts about Jamaica is that our capital is Kingston, our official language is English, but you might get familiar with the locals and speak a little bit of the local dialect, which is Patwa, or most famous known for dancehall music, reggae, Bob Marley, and or jerk cuisine, or Blue Mountain Coffee. Don't forget the rum. It's five o'clock somewhere anytime in Jamaica. And yes, the fastest man, Usain Bolt. So we do have direct services from Montego Bay to Montego Bay from London Heathrow, London Gatwick, Birmingham, Manchester. We have direct services to Kingston from London Gatwick. And what's new for Jamaica is getting to Jamaica has gotten so much easier with our North Atlantic Airways. And this will be going to Jamaica from London Gatwick starting November, 2023. So Kingston, three times per week, Montego Bay, four times per week. So it's going to be a wonderful time planning all those family-based activities to get to Jamaica because it's going to be so much easier. Imagine feeling excited about travel again, to look forward to enjoying every moment of your trip from beginning to end. Personalized attention to your every need begins the moment you deplane with Club Mobay's meet and greet service including our fast track advantage.
still take extra special care of seniors and children traveling on their own. And for those saying I do in Jamaica, the celebration starts now. Connect with those back home with our Stay Connected service. Then settle in and enjoy a world of amenities at your fingertips in the Club Mobe Arrivals Lounge. Start your dream vacation completely hassle-free with Jamaica's premier airport lounge. On leaving the island, check in with your airline, then let us do the rest. Fast track service ensures a relaxed beginning to your departure from Jamaica. Whisking you away to Club Mo Bay's departure lounge to extend that vacation feeling. Here you'll discover an oasis where children play, and adults can sit back, relax, connect, and discover. Travel the way it should be experienced. Flying in toward departing. All right, so definitely just to emphasize that if you are traveling with family, it's a perfect opportunity to make it very hassle-free for the family, both in Club Kingston and Club Mobe. So why Jamaica for or beautiful family it's warm weather all year round we have a very diverse product it's a vibrant culture and you just get to embrace that natural beauty of jamaica as mentioned we have direct flights and we're continuously innovating our products and the infrastructure is always developing we have six distinct resorts on island negril the capital of casual montego bay we have Ocho Rios, Port Antonio, Kingston, and the South Coast that you can notice here on the map of Jamaica. For accommodation, we have a very diverse range, product range, from all-inclusive resorts to boutiques, apartments, and a very high-end luxury accommodation, but most importantly, family all-inclusive and villas to satisfy the family market. We are going to be focusing on three main resorts, today out of our six, which is Montego Bay, Ocho Rios, and Negril. So let's touch on the first, which is Montego Bay. It's the home of our Reggae Sunfest, or Doctor's Cave Beach, or Hip Strip, which is five minutes from the Sangster International Airport. You can have all the fun you need five minutes from away from the airport, and it starts right there. We have the Luminous Lagoon in Falmouth, which is very unique and very natural and one of the activities that you can do at nights. Rose Hall Great House, rafting on the Martha Bray, and we have a, a large variety of small and large hotels, and not to mention the Montego Bay Marine Park. So touching on a few of the hotels that caters to family, it's Half Moon, which they have the new Eclipse at Half Moon, new rooms and suites, and expanded beachfront with a natural swimming cove. Here is just a quick peek of the half moon. You also have Chaka Good Hope, which is an activity that you can do if you're staying within the Montego Bay area, just half an hour from the center of the Montego Bay resort town. You have a lot of activities that you can do with the entire family from, as you see, River rafting to ATV rides, you name it. It's going to be a full day packed activity once you're at Chaka Good Hope. And once we land in Montego Bay, if we go to the west, to the west end that we say into Negril, we have a lot of activities and what a way to view our beautiful sunsets at. Let me see if anyone will know. Donovan, you can tell me if anyone gets it right. Where do you visit the sunsets in Negril once you're there? You can do cliff diving as well. And you can enjoy that beautiful sunset drinking a cool Bob Marley drink. It's, we also have the world famous Seven Mile Beach. And stretch along the beach, you will have a lot of hotels that's just lining along the coast. You're leaving your room straight to the beach. What a fun way for the kids to enjoy their holidays. So what are some of the hotels that you can stay in Negril for family? Well, you have Beaches Negril 
as I mentioned, along the Seven Mile Beach, which has a Pirate Island water park, Club Liquid, Xbox Play Lounge, you have Sesame Street characters, and daily kids programs to keep them active. This you also have just a little fun activity outside of resort, which is Pool Running's water park. Do check though if when your visitors or guests or clients are visiting Jamaica, that the water park is open during the time that they will visit. If you're traveling to Ocho Rios, Ocho Rios is fun for the entire family. We have over 30 attractions within a 10 mile range from the Duns River Falls to Fern Gully to Dolphin Cove, Mystic Mountain. If you're a true reggae lover, you can also visit Nine Miles to visit Bob Marley's birthplace. And if you are into the literary arts, Golden Eye, Firefly is just a stone throw away from the center of the Oteria's town. Some of the hotels that you can visit for families, Moon Palace, located in the heart of Oteria's, it has its own dolphin experience on property, Low rider simulator, similar to what you're seeing here. We dare you to try these activities when you're in Jamaica. We have a splash park for the kids, 24 hour room service. So never fear, Jamaica has you covered with much more on property and on island. Another property that you can try for family, which is between Montego Bay and Ocherios, is a new ocean coral spring. It's a five star resort and it has a lazy river, a water park to keep them happy. And only in Jamaica, on property, they do have a bowling alley. So if you want a good family competition, I don't know how you split the teams, but you can have a wonderful time playing some real bowling with the entire family. Here's just a quick image of what the Ocean Coral Spring property looks like. And if you're staying again in the Oterius area, we do have the very popular Rio Oterius with brand new water park and family rooms, which it's perfect if you just want to get to the town of Oterius and do the activities in the resort as well, such as Duns River Falls or Mystic Mountain or Dolphin Cove. This property is ideal to get in to the town location. Here's a quick image of what thrilling experiences looks like at the Mystic Mountain, overseeing the coast of Ocho Rios and riding that bobsled through the rainforest. And yes, Jamaica, we do have a bobsled team, tropical island with a bobsled team. You can also try various activities other than just Mystic Mountain or Duns River, you can try the River Bonkin Farm. There's lots of activities and unusual activities that you can do other than the popular Duns River Falls. You can do accessible travel to Jamaica with transfers or hotels are accessible hotels. We have shore excursions as well. So regardless of the disability, you we can cater for that in Jamaica and more and more it's important to cater to the entire family regardless. So how to get in touch with us is through our social media angles. Twitter is at JTB UK, Instagram visit Jamaica or official Jamaica Tourist Board page on Facebook is facebook.com slash visit Jamaica. And to get in contact to see what the UK team is doing, it's facebook.com slash Jamaica Tourist Board UK to keep up to date with our activities and competitions. We do love a good competition and we also publish our fam trip dates through our Facebook channel. Always remember to sign up to Jamaica Rewards. You will get lots of activities and rewards from just signing up and you'll keep in the know to know exactly what's happening in Jamaica, what's new in terms of product, or when or we or local reps will be in the, your area, which is myself or Donovan. If you do want a one-on-one -on -one with myself or Donovan, 
go to Jamaica Rewards. At the top of your screen, you'll see one-on-one. -on -one. We can work out with you how to promote Jamaica to your clients so you can get additional business and get those commission in with booking those excursions. So always reach out to myself or Donovan, who I mentioned is always is also in the chat. Donovan will give you his email address and mine, and you can just be in touch with us whenever you need. So come back to the vibes that comes alive in Jamaica. We're just gonna- What the world needs now is more than a vacation. We need to come back to feeling our best selves again. Back to inviting, back to loving. Back to life. Back to the little bit of Jamaica that's inside all of us. Come back to being lively again. Back to laid back. Back to romantic. Come back to the vibe that comes alive in Jamaica. All right. So thank you, everyone. Remember to be in touch with myself or Donovan. And... We can answer all your questions. I know Donovan would have been active in the chats. So stay tuned for the prize at the end. Super, thank you very much, Shanika. And thank you to Donovan for answering the questions so far. If you have got any more for Shanika and Donovan, please pop them into the Q&A. Okay, super. I'm now gonna hand over to Graham. Graham, take us to the Dominican Republic to the impressive resorts. I am indeed, just bear with me. Let's just get you up there. Welcome everybody. Thanks for your time today and joining the um, uh, the webinar. It's just uh, I'm going to whisk you down at no expense spared to the beautiful, uh, impressive results in Punta Cana. There you can see it. There's the beach and there's the sea. Are you ready for an afternoon? What day is it? It's Thursday. It's two o'clock. Just gone two twenty, and we're flying down to the beautiful Hi, and welcome to today. Punta Cana. Oh, maybe jump there. Um, now the impressive Punta Cana in Dombrek. I take it you know where it is. Yeah, right, slap bang in the middle of the Caribbean. There we go. It's a large, large island, is Domrep. People don't realize how big Domrep is. It's the second largest island. It's twinned with Haiti, the second last largest island in the Caribbean after Cuba. It's a big, big place. And right on the southern point, we have Punta Cana, which is just pure beautiful. Now, Domrep, if you didn't know, it's an all year round resort. There's some great deals um, to be had from your preferred tour operators with the impressive brand. Uh, it's mainly available from the Dinata guys, Gold Medal, Travel 2, etc. But it is available through many other tour ups. So let's get you going. There's a great prize at the end. Listen carefully and, and enjoy the impressive brand. Well, we check in. Lovely uh, reception area. Nice five-star all-inclusive resort. Um, quite small um, compared to some of the other resorts on the, uh, on the coast of the Bavero Coast there down in Punta Cana. It's only 909 rooms in total. And that's like a boutique hotel in Don Rep. I've been in some of hotels down there and they have a staggering 3,000 plus rooms, which is just amazing. But the impressive brand split into two. You've got the impressive Punta Cana and the impressive premium Punta Cana. And that's the premium is just like giving yourself a first class upgrade. You get slightly more benefits, uh, which we'll go to, to um, during the presentation. And, and if you book the impressive, um, premium brand here in the UK is commissionable, so you can earn yourself some more money there. But nice reception area, a nice buzz around it as well. Um, and look at that. Can you imagine sitting there looking at that beautiful, uninterrupted Caribbean view? Now, every time I put this picture on, I have to tell you, lovely agents, yes, we do do agent rates. And you could be sitting there uh, enjoying uninterrupted Caribbean sea views down in the impressive, impressive brand in Punta Cana. How nice is that? And look at that pier. We're the only um, hotel in the whole region um, to have a, a walkover or a pier, as we call it. Yep, very, very nice. And around the resort, the rooms on the impressive side, um, nice standard room, very spacious, super king size beds, uh, balconies or sea views available. Nice, all rooms are en suite. We can do adjoining rooms for your clients as well. Obviously, the usual tea, coffee, flat. Uh, Wi-Fi free, Wi-Fi for at resort, flat screen TVs, everything's there that your clients would expect from a five-star or inclusive resort. Now, I did mention the um, premium upgrade, and that's your own private area. That's your own private check-in on the impressive premium brand. 
Um, you have your own uh, private lounge if you want snacks served all day. Um, so this is just an additional from the actual impressive hotel. This is on the premium side, very private sort of snack bar throughout the day, right by a private pool as well. And this is uh, a premium room, extra large. We've got a sunken jacuzzi bath there. There's also another bathroom with a shower. Stunning sea views. Every view looks over the sea um, and super king size beds. What more could you want from a Caribbean hotel? <laughs> hey, come and join us down there. And obviously your family and your clients down there as well. Now we have over 10 restaurants in the resort. This is our steakhouse called On The Grill. Um, again, uninterrupted views. Can you just imagine sitting there eating your meal with your loved one and just went, wow. And then you say, oh, I forgot the kids. <laughs> no, there's family uh, fun, friendly down in impressive resort. And you could be sitting there very soon with your um, family and friends. An array of re restaurants right around the resort. As I say, there's over 10 all to be um, born in town, but we have an Italian. Uh, we have a, uh, an international buffet. We even have a, a Japanese restaurant called Yakimashi. Yakimashi is the Japanese restaurant down there, uh, an Asian um, fusion food. And we have the olive tree, which is like a Mediterranean feel to it as well. But the snack bars and other restaurants available right through you. So, and remember, it's all inclusive. So you just pick what restaurant you're going to choose from and go and enjoy your time with the family. Mm. It's making me peckish, actually. Um, look at that beach, a stunning beach. And this is what it's all about. We go to the Caribbean for some beautiful beaches. And this one is um, just, again, it was awarded a blue flag beach status two years on the trot. They spent over $3 million creating this beautiful beach at uh, the Impressive Brands. Look at that. That's me down there, my green trunks, um, just walking along the seafront. Lots of water sports to do for your clients. All non-motorized sports are included. But there is a water sports center where if your clients do want to do some jet skiing, some paragliding, um, banana riding, etc., donuts, that can all be arranged from the resort itself. But look at that, an abundance of sun lounges, there's bars on the beach, still partly all inclusive. But what a fantastic way to wake up, walk along that beach and just have a fantastic Caribbean vacation with the family. And their price point for the impressive is, pardon the pun, but a price point is mega impressive. Go and get a price point and you will be blown away just how inexpensive it is to spend a week, 10 days, two weeks down at the impressive brand. And I'll put this picture in because you can actually see just how green the flora and fauna is all there around the resort. It's not a concrete jungle. It's not high rise. There's no uh, building more than two stories high. Um, but look just how green and shade it is. If you want to sit out of the sun underneath the palm trees, it's beautiful. There's beach front restaurants there as well and look at that boardwalk just oh, that boardwalk um, when you go there you can watch the sunsets you can have private dining down there as well it's about 90 meters long uh, the boardwalk same size as the Statue of Liberty I've been told so 90 meters on the boardwalk overlooking the sea and we do have a private beach remember I mentioned again is the premium brand now the beach is split into two um, on one side you have the impressive brand the hotel on the other side you have the impressive premium where we have the balinese beds for your clients to choose from there's a private bar area um ooh, every time i see this i want to go i've got thunderstorms here at home today i need to be down in the dom rep and enjoying it but just some of the features as i say on the premium side you can have champagne throughout the day if you so wish and uh, snack bites with a tiki bar and they arrange everything for you but how about that on a nice caribbean holiday the world is a million miles away and you can relax there while the kiddies are in the kids club, yeah? Oh yeah. Uh, but as I mentioned, the gardens, there's a big difference and there's lots of shade and walkways through the beautiful gardens. They're very proud of the gardens here in the impressive brown. And it just give it a, a nice sort of smaller intimate feel when you're walking around. As I say, it's not a concrete jungle. We have over 35 acres of beautiful um, ocean front and gardens for your clients to enjoy. Now, there are four swimming pools throughout the resort. We've seen on the bottom there the beautiful beachfront pool um, with a bar attached to it. There's the fun pool, there's the adult only pool, there's the activity pool as well. So there's something for everybody around the resort. There's a full time animation team there that would keep you happy from sports and games throughout the day 
um, and to obviously for the boys and girls, um, there's a, an activity program in the kids club as well. There is a family just taken there, look, family, so off you go kids, mum and dad are gonna have a drink. There we go. Now, one of my favorite places, um, I remember it's, <laughs> it is honestly one of my favorite places. It is the gymnasium. Um, I do my workout every morning. It's um, like a lunge and a crunch. I call it lunch um, and the buffet bar usually, but it's 24 seven gymnasium. If you've got any clients who are crazy enough to go to the gym, it's there, great equipment, um, open 24 seven, fully air conditioned for your clients to enjoy. Now those boys and girls, it is a family webinar today and the impressive stands head and shoulders amongst many of our hotels around the area of Putsburner. Just how good is the kiddies club? We've got something for everybody of all ages, from the young ones, three to 12. There's a great kiddies club, great gardens. There's a chill out room as well. You can just see the gardens there. Lots of activities for the boys and girls to do whilst they're there. That was shot the garden view. There's even a teen scene club as well. So if you've got teenagers, they just want to chill out. There's a video room, games room, football, table tennis, everything's there. They can make their friends and enjoy themselves at the teen scene club on the resort. Fingers crossed, you might not even see them during the whole stay. <laughs> I'm sure you will, especially at meal times. Um, but again, on the beach, it's a blue flag, sandy beach. You can see the pier in the background there. And there's, for the younger boys and girls, there's a very shallow pool for them to enjoy, enjoy on as well with fountains to, uh, to enjoy whilst they're in the poolside. Oh, and all that fun and games. It's only fair that mum and dad do have a little bit of um, fun and games as well. There is a nightclub there. We used to call them discos, but I think there's a club now. Um, part of the all-inclusive, so you can go and have a dance. Here. So we are the hours of the morning, babysitting. You can do that locally as well, purchase that locally, and maybe have one or two nights out and enjoy yourself on the uh, resorts nightclub. Now, I always say this is the leading room. <laughs> now, it's one of the of spas uh, rooms where you can actually go and have a massage and treatments right down on the beachfront. How about that? Talk about relaxation. But there is an impressive spa there, fairly impressive. You enjoy access to the amazing spa down there with treatments. They've got hydro pools. Uh, you can have sort of pedicures, manicures, uh, and you, you can have the full body uh, massage as well. There's a whole range of treatments available, just paid locally, and really get yourself pampered while you're down there at the impressive hotels. There's also a bridal suite there. If, um, if your clients are gonna get married whilst they're down there, there is a dedicated bridal suite where the bride and her party can hang their dresses, get them all steamed and cleaned and everything that needs to be done, the makeup, pedicure, manicure, the hair, can all be done and nobody will see them until they walk out to the beautiful beachfront wedding. If your clients do fancy a wedding down there, we do group weddings. Uh, well, from two up to groups of 50, and uh, we can do beachfront weddings, weddings on the beautiful um, grounds in the shade. Now, on that lovely pier, it is a fantastic, iconic um, setting for a wedding. Just look at that. And there's a couple who got married on the pier. And if she says no, you can always jump over the end. <laughs> that pier, 90 meters long. <coughs> and as I say, uninterrupted views over the Caribbean. So we did have a large group down from the UK in March this year. We got married. It was quite a large group and they've sent us many, many thank you letters, but look at that. And um, what a way to um, spend time with your family and friends at a perfect wedding and the perfect destination, Punta Kenya and the impressive hotels. Now we do understand it's a very competitive market. So the ways we can help you to secure bookings, overcome objections, what we do, contact us. We'll give you the details in a second, but we can give you a wild card, uh, maybe just to entice your clients to book with you. It could be a, a, a romantic dinner for two, a spa treatment, some champagne on arrival. This will all be down to you as well, so that your clients will think that you're providing those things. But do contact us, and we can give you a wild card to just enhance your client's holiday. If you... It is all inclusive. A lot of people will stay in the resort throughout the durations, but a lot of people also want to venture out. And there's an abundance of activities to do around the Punta Cana area. There's a whole tours desk that you can book excursions from, but just around in Punta Cana area, the Bavero region, there's say 19 restaurants and six major attractions. 
so your clients can easily walk out and do some shopping if they want to, souvenir shopping, or just go to a different bar or restaurant if they so wish. And that's very, very close, uh, say walking distance, very easily, two, two minutes max from the hotel's entrance. And again, just to give you more confidence about the impressive brand, uh, we are winner of the 221 Traveller's Choice Awards. And there's some great feedback on the social sites there from clients who've been there just this year. Um, so you can check them out. And as I say, get um, more confidence uh, in selling the result. And that's thank you from me. I'm part of the sales team. So just uh, don't forget, you can just contact us, drop us a line at sales.uk impressive dash C-I-S-T um, dot com. And we will answer any questions that you may have. If I don't answer them today, we'll certainly answer them very, very shortly. So we look forward to welcoming you and your clients to the impressive brand in Punta Cana. Thanks again for your time today and uh, see you a little bit later. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Graham. Great presentation and uh, loving the family facilities on offer. So now I am going to hand over to Jade. She's going to take us to Grenada to True Blue. Thank you. Let me just share my screen. There we go. Did that come up right? It looks different. Can you see it? All good. Okay, good. Okay, so hello everybody. As I mentioned in the beginning, my name is Jade and I represent the beautiful True Blue Bay Boutique Resort in the wonderful island of Grenada. So um, here are my contact details. We will put them in the follow-up as well, but please make note. And if you ever need anything, please reach out. It's exactly what I'm here for. So just a couple of quick facts about True Blue um, Bay Boutique Resort. So located in Grenada, it's in the southern part of the island and it's a very short transfer from the international airport. It's just under 10 minutes. So that's really nice after a long flight. It's family owned and operated um, by the Field and family. So they actually purchased the hotel in 1998 when it was the True Blue Inn and they've had it ever since. Um, and turned it into their own family run resort, which makes it great for families because, you know, the, the family are at the heart of this resort and everything they do, um, you know, is, is aimed at families and, and that kind of focus, which makes it very special. Um, it's a very authentic experience. So it's not your typical big all inclusive resort um, in the Caribbean. It's very small. There are only 70 rooms. It's very boutique um, and it's a very relaxing, uh, relaxing holiday. Um, and as I mentioned, the location already. So I'm just going to start with a short video. So just touching on some of the resort facilities, um, so there are four swimming pools on property and they are also shallow friendly. So every single one of them um, has a shallow area for the children. There are two playgrounds as well on property for the children to enjoy. Um, and there are various other activities as well. So we have the Blue Haven Spa, we've got the yoga studio. There's a very big focus on wellness at this property um, and lots of other things, as you can see. And there's also the dive shop in which the resort have recently um, gone into partnership with Aquanauts, which for those that specialise in dive will be very familiar with that name. Um, and as you'll know, Grenada is an absolutely amazing destination for diving in itself. 
So just a couple of um, updates. Um, the hotel have been working super hard um, on their sustainability. They've actually won a lot of awards recently. As we know, it's a very important topic um, at the moment. And they've actually created some room categories um, that are a bit more environmentally friendly, which they've also won awards for, which we'll look at a little bit later. But they do a lot with the local community um, and they're always spending a lot of time and, and looking at ways in which they can help the environment. So as I mentioned, there are only 70 rooms at the property. So it is a small boutique property with four different room categories. So just looking at some of those, our true blue style standard rooms, this is what they look like. They will take three adults or two adults and one child. So very colorful. Um, you've got the kitchenettes in there as well. So it's great for families. All of the rates um, come as standard with breakfast included but you can have a half board or an all-inclusive option at this property as well. But even if you have the all-inclusive option with children, I mean, I've got a three-year-old myself, it's amazing when you get somewhere and you've actually got a bit of a kitchen so you can, you know, attend to their needs when you're in the room as well. So the Cocoa Pod rooms, so these are the rooms that are climate smart, which I mentioned in the previous slide. So they're the newest rooms that opened in 2019 um, and they're a little bit more environmentally friendly. So you'll just see some of the key points there and just to mention some of them, they have the solar water heaters in the rooms, the electricity is generated by PV solar panels um, with water and energy efficient appliances as well. So these rooms are specifically designed to be self um climate environmentally friendly and they look really nice too they're really colorful so we offer four different suites as well on the property so the suites are a little bit bigger than the standard rooms and the cocoa pods so we have garden suites um tower suites waterfront suites and the honeymoon suites as well so all of the suites will take three adults or two adults and one child and the honeymoon suites are for two adults only and for larger families, we have our two bedroom villas. So these are fantastic for families. You can see there just from the photos, um, that massive um, open plan living area space. You've also got the little um, tub out um, on the balcony as well and the bedrooms, the two bedrooms, as I mentioned, and two bathrooms. So these are great. They will take five adults or four adults and two children. So really good for those bigger families or for smaller families that simply just wanted lots of space. Um, adapted rooms, so we have four of these on property as well. I think those that are familiar with Grenada and maybe this location, um, people assume that the resort might not be um, accessible friendly, but it absolutely is. So we have four different rooms that um, are wheelchair friendly. So we have one waterfront suite and three standard rooms as well. And the resort itself is almost fully accessible with the exception of the spa and the yoga studio, um, which the Field and family are working on at the moment to make them accessible. Um, and in terms of the rooms, the beds get lowered and the shower glass panels are removed and they increase the height of the toilet seat, obviously, to make that easier for anybody that's in a wheelchair as well. The restaurant, dive shop, beach and pool are also fully accessible by wheelchair. And there are also golf carts that can transport guests around the resort if they need that as well. So here's just a, um, a look of the four swimming pools that are on property and you can see on the top left, this is the Bayview pool and we have the water slide there. So that's great for the children. And you can just see in general how kid friendly these are. They're very um, shallow friendly waters, as I mentioned. And here's just an overview of the resort. I mean, this actually, this map gets put into the customer's room. So when they check in, they can know where everything is. Um, some, you know, it's all kind of together, but it might be a bit of a walk from one end to the other so everybody gets this in their room when they check in they know exactly where everything is and where they're going but just so that you can see it into perspective in terms of how the resort is laid out as well so the entrance is just here and then we get to the back with the room categories you can see the four pools here as well So the Dodgy Dock, being a small property with only 70 rooms, there is only the one restaurant. So that is the Dodgy Dock and it is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And there are themed nights that take place throughout the week. So the most famous, um, if you're selling Grenada, you've definitely heard of this. There's a street food Wednesday. Um, so every Wednesday it's street food night. And actually the hotel invite local vendors in to cook the best Grenadian dishes for the guests to try. Um, and there's music and entertainment and dancing. And again, for families, that's just so much fun. They can get involved and dance and really enjoy a true authentic cultural experience 
Um, on Friday nights, it's Mexican night. Um, one of the owners, Magdalena, being Mexican herself, um, the food is just amazing, as you would expect. So that's a really good experience. And on Saturdays, it is barbecue night. And just to recap again, as I mentioned, the standard rates on the contract are bed and breakfast, but guests can upgrade to half board and all inclusive. So on site as well, we have a rum shop. Um, so this is by the pool and it serves mixed drinks, beers and cocktails. And that's open every day from 11 until 6. And we also have the House of Chocolate Bakery. Um, being Grenada, being well known for its chocolate, of course, um, this bakery is full of chocolate cakes and chocolate treats. Um, it's definitely worth a visit when you're on property. So value add, some of the tour operators seem to hide this um, and they really shouldn't because there are some amazing added values that are included on the contracts with this hotel. So even um, on the bed and breakfast rate, you, you're getting um, these added values included. So you get the beach shuttle, which we'll look at in a little bit more detail in a moment. Um, two free yoga classes per stay, guided water sports and the tour of the house of chocolate. So just bear those in mind when you're booking a stay at True Blue. These are automatically included um, for your clients. So just touching on the beach, so True Blue Bay, a bay, as the name suggests itself, the beach, there isn't really um, a big beach here. It's more of a bay area with the marina where the boats are coming in. So anybody that does want to visit the beach, I mean, Grenada has so many of them, and we're so fortunate at True Blue that four of them are not too far from us. Um, Grand Dance Beach being the most famous, um, lovely miles and miles long of white, powdery, um, sandy sand <laughs> and um, we offer complimentary shuttles that will run every day so anybody that does want to go to those beaches the resort do provide complimentary shuttles to and from those beaches so as I mentioned um, yoga and wellness is is quite a big focus at this property and um, so we have the Sankalpa Yoga Studio and the Blue Haven Spa um, in the spa you can have so many different treatments and the speciality of course um, being Grenada is chocolate treatment so you can have chocolate facial, chocolate massage, I mean who doesn't want to have chocolate everything um, and with the yoga it's done on um, in the, the open treetop so it's a really nice um, zen area and you can do that twice per day as well. So families and activities for children. So you can just see a couple of pictures there of the two play areas that I mentioned earlier. And again, the Bayview pool that has the water slide. So on site, there is a kids club for children ages three to 11. And babysitting is also available for children under the age of three at an additional charge. And kids eat free at Dodgy Dock, um, at the Dodgy Dock restaurant from the children's menu. So all children under the age of 12 actually eat free, which is a great KSP for the property. Um, there are three hours per day complimentary childcare. So the kids club is open Monday to Friday, nine till five. And um, for three hours a day, um, the children can, can use the facilities of the kids club. And the kind of activities they'll be doing is fishing, jewellery making, drawing, painting, um, table games, hair braiding. They've got the two playgrounds as well and the swimming pools. And they do mermaid swimming and bubble making as well. And in the dive shop, any kids that are over the age of 10 can actually get their Paddy Junior open water scuba certificate certification as well if they wish to. And special offers for families. So anybody that's a family that's booking the two bedroom villa for a minimum of seven nights or more will receive enhanced added values. They can have complimentary three day car hire or they can choose to have a dinner cooked by a private chef for an in villa meal once during their stay. So Grenada chocolate, I've mentioned that quite a bit already, um, but it's so, so famous for its chocolate. And actually something called Chocfest happens every year. So it's actually happening in a few days, May the 16th to the 21st. And one of the owners, Magdalena, is um, one of the people that kind of created this Chocfest. So she's very heavily involved. And again, it's great for families and the kids can get involved, make their own chocolate. You can see just from the picture at the bottom and just learning about it all and how you actually get from a cocoa bean to actually making the chocolate is such a wonderful experience. And lastly, just to mention our rewards program. So it's truebluebayrewards.com. So if you haven't signed up, please do. We've got all of our fact sheets, images, and videos on this rewards platform. And if you're making a booking, please log it here. We will give you one point per booking. And it's completely up to you what you'd like to do with that point. You can turn it into £10 or into one free night stay. Um, so if you've done a couple of bookings and you've got, you know, a three night stay, let me know. We will top you up with an agent rate as well if you wanted to stay for seven nights. So just bear that in mind. And that's it from me. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Jade. How are you doing? Did you enjoy that? I think it's your first one you've done for... Um, yeah, it is actually. Renata well. did the last yeah. one, but also yeah. I'm going. I'm actually going here in two weeks, so I feel like once I've actually been, it's going to be yeah. I can add in my own pictures. <laughs> oh, super, super! Looking forward to hearing all about it then, because I know you've been before anyway, haven't you? And um, this will be the first time yeah. in a while. I haven't. On um, what? Sorry. This will be the first time in a while. I haven't actually been to True Blue at all. I feel like oh, I have yeah. after contracting it for years, but I've never actually stepped foot on it. So I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> amazing, amazing. That's very, very good. Um, okay, let me see what questions we have got. Um, Lola asked, is there a replay? Yes, um, we will send a recording out to everybody tomorrow uh, with, with all of the contact details of everybody. Um, Patricia's asked for you, Graham. Um, you, you need to unmute yourself. Um, did you mention a Facebook group for the US? Um, or was it just I, for the UK? I, I didn't. No, I didn't mention that. I, I saw that. I thought it was for um, Jamaica. No, it was, I think, for you. All right. Um, no, I didn't mention a Facebook group um, for the US, not okay. for the UK. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, Jade, can you put your contact details up? Again, please. Yeah, I sure can. Oh, my PowerPoint oh. <laughs> is frozen for some reason. I've just seen April Smith there. Hello, April. It's frozen. My PowerPoint's stuck on this on this <laughs> on this slide. Oh, on True Blue Bay <laughs> Rewards. It's stuck. Um, okay. we'll do a follow it in. everybody anyway so we will we will include that let me just try again no it's completely okay. stuck. don't worry i've popped it into uh the chat so everybody's got it there um do you know the answer to this question um jade you may not can you bring drones to grenada oh i've never been asked that question i i i don't know i, I think can you ask, can but i don't yeah. think you can no no um, I think actually even anywhere, just as a safety measure in general, that's probably prohibited. But I can ask the tourist board for whoever's asking that question. Right. Super. Thank you very much. So that's the end of the questions. So if everybody can go to chat, just make sure that you drop down says everyone. Um, we're going to get to the point of the day where we ask you the questions. Mm -hmm. So just as a reminder, every single person on the webinar gets one point into the prize draw. If you answer this questions, mm -hmm. well, the questions correctly, you get 10 points into the prize draw. Tomorrow, I put everybody's names into a spin to win and I'll press the button. Whoever wins, wins and I announce it on the email. So I'm going to ask first, um, Jade, can you ask your question, please? Yep, so I mentioned the added values that are included on the contract. Could you please let me know one of the inclusions um, of those added values, please? It's going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think Shanice Wright was the quickest with the two yoga sessions per day. So well done, Shanice, and well done to all of you. You were listening because you're all correct. Brilliant. Shanice, you've been entered 10 times. Um, Graham. Well, I've got a question. I've, I've been told my question is a little bit too easy. So uh, I'm going to make it a little bit more tricky this time. And the question is, what was the name of the Japanese restaurant at the Impressive Hotel? Name of the Japanese restaurant. Not too worried about the spelling. Ooh, <laughs> someone, oh, that was very quick. That is impressive. Impressive, get it? Yeah. Uh, yakimeshi. That's perfect, yeah. Carol. Which actually yeah. means I'm hungry in Japanese. Ah, oh, super. It doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, you're just making that up. <laughs> Typical. Um, super, Carol, you was the winner of that one. And last but not least, we've got Shanika. Yes, so our question from Jamaica is, which hotel in Jamaica has a bowling alley for the entire family? Mm. Okay, so um, people getting it right, which is good. Um, it is the correct answer, the ocean coral. 
Yes. You ate hell? Yeah. That ocean coral. Super. It was Yuri for that one. So Ocean Coral Hotel. Brilliant. So Yuri said Ocean Coral, but the entire yeah. of the property is Ocean Coral Spring, which Lorraine said ah. Ocean Coral Spring. I'm going to leave this one to you, Sarah. <laughs> well, if you want the exact name of the hotel, it's your call. All right. So Lorraine, Ocean Coral Spring. Okay. Let me just amend that. Right. Super. Okay, so I will send a follow up to everybody tomorrow with a copy of the recording. A big thank you to Graham, Jade, Shanika and Donovan today for giving us fantastic presentations. Hope you've all learned a lot and send lots of bookings their way. Um, I'll see you all next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, thank Graham. You. Bye. See you all later. Bye. 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 bye.